Yes, Valentine's Day, peach pie, waffles. I'm going to be topping those off with some whipped cream, a little bit of crumble that's going to go on there, some candied bacon on the side. What? That's super good. I know. Let's rock it out. I'm going to start off here by making my crumble. So in this bowl, I have three quarters of a cup of oats, a quarter cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and I just want to mix those dry ingredients up before I add my butter in. For the butter, I have three tablespoons of cubed butter, and it is very, very cold. That's going to keep it from becoming like too pasty when you do it. We want to make sure we keep a crumble. So once you get that all mixed together, and by the way, you can use like the pastry blender that I was using or just a fork if you don't have one. Spread it out onto a foil lined sheet pan. Spray some cooking spray on the foil as well. This is going to go into the oven at 350 degrees for like 10 minutes. Meanwhile we're going to make our candied bacon. So for the bacon, I have my brown sugar. I have a half of a cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of chili powder, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. Don't worry because everything that I'm saying to you is going to be in a link down below. I've spread this out onto my bacon and it is going into the oven at 350 for 10 minutes, excuse me, 15 minutes, and then we're going to check on it and put it back in at 400 till it's done. So this is what the crumble looks like after it was in the oven for 10 minutes at 350. When you first pull it out, it's going to look like it kind of melted together, but as you stir it, it's going to crumble back apart. So this is going to need to go back into the oven, still at 350, for two or three more minutes just to dry it out a bit. And you can see as I'm stirring it up here that it's just totally falling apart. So my bacon is still in the oven and I'm going to go ahead and move on to my peaches. I'm using three peaches all together and I'm not going to worry about peeling them because not only are the peels going to come off really easily once the peaches have boiled, but they're also going to stain the peaches and leave a really nice color behind. So I am adding a half of a cup of sugar along with a quarter cup of water on there and it's going onto the stove on medium high heat. I've checked on my bacon, I'm putting that back in at 400 for about five more minutes and meanwhile I'm going to mix my waffle batter. So I'm just going to put all of my dry ingredients into a large bowl and I have them listed over to the side here for you and I'm also going to have a link down below to my waffle recipe. Once you get all of the dry ingredients mixed together, just make a little well in the middle and then you're going to add in your wet ingredients. Again, here's the list of the ingredients and I'll also have a link down below. The most important thing here when you're mixing these ingredients is that they're all warm, including the milk and buttermilk, because if you add your butter in there without them being warm, it will solidify and that is not a good thing. Over here I have my waffle maker ready. I'm spreading coconut oil on it which is my favorite way and I actually find it gives a crispier waffle to do the coconut oil maybe because it's a little deeper. But you can also use whatever your favorite cooking spray is for your waffle iron. Okay so now I'm putting in my batter and I'm just going to close this up and cook the waffle. I do have my waffle iron sitting on my stove because I'm watching my peaches as I cook the waffles. So here are my peaches. They're on medium high heat and they've been cooking for about three or four minutes. You just want to get them where they're just soft. So these are perfect and ready to come out of the pan. I'm going to take them out with a slotted spoon because I want to leave the juice behind to reduce and make a peach syrup out of. So I'm adding in another half a cup of sugar along with a half a cup of water which has a tablespoon of cornstarch mixed in with it. The cornstarch and water mixture is called a slurry and it helps to thicken up whatever it is you're putting it in. It's important to mix the cornstarch and water first so that you don't get lumps. We're going to bring this up to a boil and let it reduce just a little bit. Keep in mind that it's going to thicken as it cools. So my bacon is done and ready to serve. My waffles are finished and ready to serve. And I also have my peaches and my peach syrup. So now it's time to plate it up. 
Here I'm putting down a waffle and then a couple of peaches on top. So if you look at those beautiful peaches, you can see where the skin left that beautiful kind of red stain behind, which is what I wanted. If you don't want that, you know, you can peel your peaches, totally up to you. But I'm going to put a few peaches across each waffle. And that little shot glass right there, I have some of the peach syrup that we made, and I stood the candied bacon up in it just to give it a nice little presentation. Obviously, I'm adding some whipped cream in the front, and then I'm going to take those crumbles, which are totally cooled off because I don't want them melting the whipped cream and put them on top and this is what it's going to look like when it's all finished. 